Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, this is me. I'm Tim. I'm from Copenhagen, Denmark. And uh, I'm going to talk about interactive things and why you should talk to people. Um, so right now I'm talking to you. Um, first, I'm just going to talk really briefly about myself. And I feel like I've been sitting here for quite a long time and I'm getting a bit tired. So I'm going to try to talk less and show more and maybe play some games. Um, so first of all, this is uh, where I work, uh, where what our company does. We build things. And I'm just going to show a few things. This is not really representative for what we do, but we do things that are sort of out of the ordinary. So if you walk to the metro, this is in Copenhagen, you walk down the stairs and you sort of expect to buy a ticket. You go to the ticket vending machine and it suddenly asks you to sing karaoke in order to pay for your ticket. Then that's probably one of our projects. So it looks like sort of like this. I think you get it. At the end of this, it, the ticket machine will actually print a ticket for you and you can ride the metro uh, for free. Um, then then we also, I also do projects like interactive things with tactile things. I like uh, physical things. I'm not that big a fan of digital things. So we made this uh, a while ago. Then we're just going to take the picture. Then we also do completely out of the ordinary things. This is a movie called The Dog House on Danish Gammekong. It's an Oculus Rift five-person movie that's shot in first person. This is the most awkward family dinner you have ever been to. We did it in collaboration with some really talented film people and actors. You walk into this room, you put your Oculus Rift on, and you sit in front of this table, same table that you're sitting in front of now. And you just go for the most awkward family dinner. You have your girlfriend home with your home. The first, it's the first night she meets the parents, and everything is just really, really awkward. Ah, uh, like really. Um, I have a video here. It did not load. We'll do that another time. Um. Yeah, moving on. So, so what I do when I don't make these interactive things is organize things like Naughty Game Jam, which is much like this. Bunch of people meet up, spend 48 hours making things, meeting people, pretty much the same. Except for the fact it's growing quite a bit. I think we were almost 500 people last time. And that means a lot of people and a lot of games. And if we look at just the amount of game jams per year, I think it's growing even more. We had probably more than 500 game jams just in the area. Um, and if we look at the amount of game jam prototypes and hackathon prototypes and things you guys are going to make the next, this weekend, I think it's probably like, this is not that many, this is a lot. Um, I go to a lot of these game games, like I'm here now. I think this, in 2014 alone, this is my ninth game jam slash hackathon. Um, so if you think you're going to come up with something really, really unique in 48 hours and make it, and it's going to be super cool, um, you're, you're probably going to do that, yeah. Yes. Um, but I think, uh, to sum it up, we have seen enough prototypes, enough games, whatever. I think this 48-hour thing, it's, it's been a bit... Everybody's tried it now. We tried it quite a lot. Um, so a few years back, I started another concept. It's called Exile Jam. We don't necessarily make games. Um, this is five days. You have a bit more time. And I think I'm just going to talk a bit faster. So it mo mostly looked like this. We sit around the bonfire and we play the guitar, roast some marshmallows, drink some wine, whatever. Uh, mainly it's about the people who are there. And I'm just going to show a few things from Exile. Looks like this. 
And this is a project called Line Wobbler, a one-dimensional dungeon crawler with a weird gyro controller. Um, skiing simulator, a pack of lip ski, um, using normal joysticks. Um, somebody here who didn't want to make a game, just wanted to make an experience, he made a bar. It's called Beep Beep Bar, a uh, gin and tonic bar. This one, the Disunion, Disunion uh, guillotine simulator a few years back. Um, and somebody really wanted to try to be a bird, uh, so they made a bird simulator where you could, uh, with sensors, fly, Oculus, like, fly this drone around with Oculus Rift on, doing all sort of things. And I have a bunch more projects to show. I'm not going to do that now. Come talk to me. But this is sort of it. It's a bunch of friends going in a summer house, having fun, talking to each other, and making a few things. So the, the theme we had this, this last weekend, actually, it was, uh, was 50%. And by 50%, I mean you can use a maximum of 50% of the time that you are here at this jam on working on your own project. But the other 50%, you should spend on other people's projects, collaborate, talk to each other, drink some wine, sit around the bonfire, do whatever. And it's very much about collaboration and less about competition and all sort of things. Create some nice things, not necessarily prototypes that you make this jam, but you actually make friends, you make partners, you can, you can start businesses, you can make things. And this is, I'm going to try to show uh, a project I did at one of these jams, not Exile, but some similar thing. We were at the jam sitting around the fireplace, drinking red wine, I think it was, and we made something. It was a writer uh, writing stories, a designer, illustrator only working on paper sort of non-digital, a games producer and me doing weird interactions. We tried to do something, we completely failed. Um, but after a while, we did something else with the same people, and I'm just going to show that. This should work, please. So it's a, it's a children's book, it's in Danish, it's called Bubu and Company. I'm just going to start the story here. Um, I'm just going to summarize it, I guess you don't read this. It's the coldest wind in 2,000 years. You live in a small house, suddenly some creatures think it looks pretty nice. Uh, now it says you're home alone, lift your iPad and look around. So we're going to do that. So now we're just looking around, it's just basic senses, just put into context. Ooh. And, yeah, a hey! Can you see my game nile hole? You can see this is sort of just a project. You can look around it. You can see this is sort of just a project. You can look around it. You can and we look down and we have a normal book again. We read the story. Basically, he's, he's called Gregus. His mom and dad is also called Gregus. It's pretty easy. All the sisters, same name. But they always slept and they're going to Africa for the winter. But it's almost winter. It, it is winter. And it's the coldest one in 2,000 years. We have to help wake them up. So we look up. We see some, some nice hand drawn pictures here. Kan du ikke hjælpe mig med at vække de andre? Jeg er alt for hæs. Jeg tror, du kan komme op med kurven. Så so take this green basket all the way up. So we gotta do that. Hello, Zoomachines! Hello, Zoomachines! Hello, Zoomachines! So, so he said you should uh, yell to, to wake them up. And we can, we can sort of keep doing this, and we do use all sorts of sensors, yelling. At some point you have to find the color yellow using the camera, shake your iPad, all sorts of things. But I think this happened not because we were at some jam or whatever. It was, but not because of what we made, but because of the people we met there. So please remember, use the most this time to talk to the other people, all the round around you, just look at them. Talk to them. It's probably nice. I can't say, but it looks—they look nice. I'm just gonna say, thank you. Sigurd Orba. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Hello! 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 Tak skal du have. Hello! Hello! Thank you! Thank you! Hello, zoom machines! Hello, zoom machines! That's it. Thank you.